Hey you guys, it's Sam with the Jaws. I don't know. Um, well first, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, click the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any new content. So, I don't know if you can tell by the sound of my voice that I am super excited for this new pack. I've been waiting, 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 waiting. I thought it was going to come out last week, but due to some um, issues, um, they had, you know, a delay and you know made it global now so yes i'm so excited and so welcome to the sims for my wedding stories and so let's just uh dive in so okay of course um there's a new world with this pack called tartosa and so let's just prepare for the big day popping the question is just the beginning of your sims wedding experience once they said yes, the excitement and nerves set in. There's so much to plan, like, oh my gosh. And then you want to bring your vision to life. Get into the details of upcoming nuptials as Sam select their wedding day attire and everything else they'll need for their big moment. Menu, decor, schedule, venue, all of it. And then we're finally going to tie the knot. When it's finally time, feel the love and live out every fantasy. Exchange vows, rings, and kisses at the altar before the real celebration starts. Kick it off by serving tea for the family or head right to the reception. So as you guys can see, you know, I've watched so many reviews, so many, um, you know, videos on this pack. And like I said, there's a new world card, uh, called Tartosa. So let's just go ahead and dive in. So this is the lovely couple that will be starring in our little mini series um, for the wedding stories. This is Aubrey White. Uh, <laughs> this is Aubrey White. And this is his girlfriend, Ashley Johnson. And just to give you guys um, a little uh, detail. So Aubrey, he is a warrant officer in the military, making good money, no question there. He works 8 to 4. He's level 5 or whatnot, you know, knocking on the door at the promotion. And so, he told himself when he got promoted, because he wasn't he wasn't quite ready, you know, like in a financial place um, to make the big decision that he has came, you know, to make. And so, they're, they're really not in a bad spot if you look at it they're at sixteen thousand um three hundred and two simoleons which is not bad it could be better but not bad and so um with this promotion he decided you know he would have you know all the funds um you know more income coming in to take care of his girlfriend and if they wish to have any kids or whatnot but he's honestly quite tired of her being his girlfriend he wants to move to the next step and actually get married and he knows that Ashlyn has no reservations she feels the exact same way um you know they've been together for a while for about three and a half years and he's just ready to make that next step with you know after his promotion or whatnot so you guys will definitely see you know he'll probably have a new job in um the next part or whatnot so yeah um he's an angler he loves to fish he loves anything outdoors he loves to work out so that's that's awesome um his uh traits he is good he like i said loves outdoors he's a morning sim he's a collector and he's hot-headed so sometimes he gets so frustrated or whatnot you know what's going on around him and then you know sometimes he just he he needs to blow off a little steam okay so um yeah he definitely has that trait that's one of his imperfections and they are both young adults um or what have you and then he has the close-knit lifestyle. And then I haven't made their parents yet. I am going to make their parents just because I want that, you know, that feeling of a true wedding with the parents being there or whatnot when that time does come. So I will work on making their parents. And then this is sweet. Oh, I'm just going to play there. They went to this like bowling spot um, to get out the house and they're they're bowling or whatnot but yeah this is lovely ashley so she is ambitious she she's driven like this girl is driven she doesn't let anything stop her she's family uh family oriented she loves family she loves anything 
you know, family activities, traveling, you know, having those little game nights, movie nights. So that's all her. She's also neat. Like she's crazy about having, um, she's crazy about having a neat everything, everything in place, everything in order, nothing old left out. So yeah, she's definitely, um, and she's alluring so and she's close-knit as well they don't like having you know they they just talk within their inner circle they, they're not people persons they're kind of introverts but they do go out occasionally and Ashlyn I'm Ashlyn <laughs> look at me that's for my cottage living LP if you haven't checked that out go check that out I will have a link up in this corner um but yeah so ashley <laughs> so many ash um she is a medical technologist um and i believe that is level four okay yeah so she herself is working you know knocking on the door a promotion as well so both of them get promoted and then you know aubrey proposes to her like it's 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 amazing this is a good prime time in their life right now so yeah once she gets promoted she will be in uh an assistant nurse and you know she's she's really close to that and so um yeah and for yeah we went over her traits and let's see did we miss anything did we go over likes and dislikes hmm this is just the intro you guys so she likes easy listening music she loves to she loves wellness fishing fitness video gaming and bowling and her favorite color is green she doesn't like red yellow or purple too much and she loves a lot of decor she is crazy about decor so she loves suburban contemporary mid-century and boho farmhouse contemporary patio modern all all the good stuff and aubrey he's simple you know he doesn't have a decor preference he likes hip-hop and um he likes fishing video gaming um fitness and handiness and of course he just likes color blue he's simple he he's simple straight to the point or uh, yeah so they are he's hungry uh she's hungry too yeah um so let's see if they have because this is a big place i downloaded off of the gallery again i don't remember who made it at this moment but they did a bomb job on it you have bowling downstairs bowling upstairs you also have these little um you know arcade games you have a big center where you can play on the big screen and uh you know table games and kitchen for birthdays this this reminds me of like stars and strikes or frankie's fun park or you know like those big places that you can host um parties at and so i was looking for food there are bars over here but i don't see no one um i don't see anyone at the bar so we're just gonna uh take it let's see we're just gonna take it home take it home they've had they've had their fun and then um you know will like order pizza or uh, Ashley can cook some dinner or whatnot because they both have yeah uh, yeah they both have work in the morning so they made it back home and this is their little apartment so of course they stay in Evergreen Harbor at the Stone Street Apartments and it is the um you know the development you know where the neighborhood has been upgraded um, so yeah, this is, um, I got this, I got the idea of this apartment from Lil Simsy. So she did create one with the same layout, um, you know, but for some reason it wouldn't let me download it off of the gallery. And so I just tried to recreate, you know, what she originally created. So props to Lil Simsy for this floor plan for the apartment. Love, love, love. And so, um, so yeah, they just have like a little sectional and this is a good <laughs> example of Ashley. So she's just cleaning her little Keurig or whatnot that is modded, um, but yeah, she just cleaning her little coffee, her little coffee pot or whatnot. And then this is their bathroom. And then they have a little office. And Aubrey has his little um, military thing where he keeps his awards. And she has like her little desk. And their bedroom is creamed and brown. And, you know, just good gender neutral. A good gender neutral um, bedroom is not too crowded. 
So yeah, I think it's I think it turned out cute. Decorating is all by me, okay, and colors is all by me. And so they have like a nice spacious living room with darts, and it's just so cute and cozy. But actually, she does have aspirations to move into a nice, you know, three bedroom, two bath house, maybe. Um, have some children running around, okay? So maybe maybe that's soon to come, you know, after what Aubrey after the surprise Aubrey has for her. But we will be able to see that in the coming um, you know, episode. So I'm gonna leave this part right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.